Hello, I'm Drew Keller, and I'm an enthusiastic user of PyPresents. What is PyPresents? Well, for a while I'd been using a display running off of a computer, um, a Windows computer, XP, and it ran PowerPoint presentation off of there. Uh, I was wondering if maybe there was some other way, or a better way to run a presentation without using a computer. So I started doing some research and I ran across this thing, the Raspberry Pi. That sounded pretty cool. So I did get one and I tried different ways of doing presentations. Uh, LibreOffice works on it, but of course PowerPoint doesn't. So then I started doing research on that and I ran across Pi Presents. So what is Pi Presents? Pi Presents is an editor or a presentation software that runs on the Raspberry Pi. Like I said, PowerPoint doesn't run on the Pi because Pi runs Linux and PowerPoint doesn't work in Linux. Uh, so then I tried LibreOffice Impress, which runs everything that PowerPoint can run. But that just ran too slow for what I was trying to do. Uh, plus it's limited to you know, what it can do. So then I tried various scripts where it would, where the Raspberry Pi could download off of our webpage, various types of media. And then these scripts would look at what, down, what media download and then pick a player. Well, all of that didn't really meet what I was looking for. And then I found Pi Presents. It's a multimedia presentation toolkit with animation control facilities. What does that mean? Well, the author of Pi Presents wrote it to use in museums and that kind of thing where you have exhibits that can do different things like lights and run animatronics and can be controlled by uh, touch screens, buttons, uh, ex external inputs like that. Um, like I said, it can do the, the presentations like PowerPoint, but it can do a lot more stuff than PowerPoint. It has ways that it can auto start and auto advance, and auto stop, you know, depending on time of day. Um, and other uh, criteria and you can use it for digital signage which is basically what I'm using it for and it can do flexible media types like uh, web pages, images, videos, audio files, um, it can do menus, uh, it has several different types of shows that I haven't tried, um, it can do live media and as I mentioned, it can do the exhibits that can do external control like lights or motors, and it can receive external inputs. And this happens through the Raspberry Pi's general purpose I.O. port. And it can even make you coffee. Again, if you have a coffee maker that can run off of the I.O. port, or you didn't need a relay for most of those kind of inputs or outputs rather and it can do different types of shows the one that I'm familiar with is the media show uh, these other kind of shows I haven't really used much the live show runs off of a specific folder so I haven't really tried to use it much and then it, it can run a menu and the hyperlink show is mainly like a menu I'm not even show, sure what a radio button show is but I'll end up looking at some of those for some things I'm going to be trying to do in the near future. And I've already talked about what it can play images. It uses the uh, built-in player that's part of, the, of uh, Python. For videos, it uses a special player that was designed for the Raspberry Pi called the OMX player. 
audio it uses M player and then it has its own uh, way to play messages text messages so how do you make a pre present show well you can do it on the Raspberry Pi or on Linux or in Windows and it has an editor that runs in Python and this is what it looks like here's the different types of shows and the different types of tracks basically different types of media you can have a show underneath shows so it can be hierarchical and the media list corresponds to the show that's a little bit complicated for just an intro introductory video now another thing that's cool is PyPresents is on a github so it's open source and you can even modify it to do things that you want it to do if you want and here is the forum there's basically one big forum topic but you can ask questions in here and the author is really quick to answer Ken Thompson and I've also got a few topics on my website related to the Raspberry Pi and Pi Presents so uh, I've got a few other tutorials videos where I talk about how to get started with the Raspberry Pi installing and running some example shows uh, another one where I talk about how to create the first show and some other ones that I got planned for talking about various aspects of Pi Presents. Thanks for watching and see you next time.